before you sign up for the next hypnosis or even NLP method or any healing method for that matter, make sure you consider these things so that you can save time and your well-earned money. And so the very, very first thing uh, that you want to really first consider is why you're looking for a new method. Now, I know that this seems very, very duh, but for me before, especially when, when I was very into the shiny objects, I actually did not consider this. Like this was something that just went over my head, right? Like why am I, um, why am I seeking another method? What, what was wrong with the current methods that I was using or what was missing in my current methods? And before I truly explored this, I kept on falling for the damn shiny object would go to trainings and trainings and trainings, more certifications, spending time with these certifications, distracting myself uh, instead of really just focusing on cultivating and uh, therapeutic skill sets. And so when I sat down and I was like, okay, so why am I actually looking for a new method? Like, what is it that I'm missing or what do I want to change in how I'm doing things that, uh, that I am, that is the reason or the root as to why I'm doing this, like really use our therapeutic processes for ourselves. And so what I had discovered was that I had just had this feeling that something was missing in, in the trainings, right? Like I would go for a training, but something was missing. It didn't really click, like it would work, but it was either too much effort. It took too much time. Uh, and it was just a very rigid and mechanical. So those were the things. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I found a method uh, called advanced conversational hypnosis, which is different from any conversational hypnosis method anyway, where it looked at principles instead of techniques. So what I was doing was I was looking for the next technique. Okay, so what is the next technique? Maybe it's breath work. Maybe it's, uh, uh, you know, a list of 10 other NLP methods because the swish method, dissociation, fast phobia, those weren't really working too well for me and my clients. So I was like, well, th this isn't working. So I thought that it would be more techniques. But what I really needed was um, looking at the principles knowing okay so what actually makes a very good session like what actually helps a client to um help them shift their beliefs fast without me telling them what to do because that was the thing too like I would tell my clients okay do this okay do that sure I would use my intuition but nothing's more powerful than a client doing it on their own right we can agree with that so it was pretty much therapist led. A lot of my biases came and a lot of my beliefs came, even the limiting beliefs came within the session, which is not really fair for the client. So by looking at something that was completely client led, that was what helped to for me to no longer study any new methods. Like I'm pretty much done <laughs> with any method because I know how to use with principles. So what is that for you? Like what, uh, why are you seeking a new method and really get clear on that? What are you currently experiencing? Is it that your sessions are taking way too long? Is it that because like me, you feel something is missing and nothing is clicking? Is it because your clients are getting his hit or miss results or your client's results aren't that fast? Or, you know, a client has a transformation right within the session and then they would immediately regress back uh, to where they were or even worse uh, after the session. What are those? Because then you will have the clarity as to what to look for within your next training program, right? So if you if time is a big factor for you and you don't want to prepare anymore, this is one of my factors too. Like I was taking way too long to prepare, like two to three hours per client and then the after work, right? So to me, time was was so valuable. So I wanted a method where I didn't need to prepare at all for my sessions, hence why I came um, to really love conversational hypnosis because we never ever prepare. So what is that for you? Because once you gain clarity on that, then you can, when whenever you look for your next method to train in, uh, then you will have clarity as to what you want. You can see if that is the best fit for you because you have the clarity as to exactly what you want. And then 
um, you can make a decision instead of waste your time, try something out, but it not working. It's kind of like you go to a restaurant and you're like, well, I don't know what to eat. Well, that's not really helpful, right? Like if you want to just go in and out of the restaurant and be there fast, you want to know exactly what you're looking for, what type of food you want to look, look, look for, um, and then choose that way. And so I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions at all. See you later.